Hey everyone, let me extend a warm welcome to all the attendees on behalf of this webinar panel. My name is Rajiv and I'm a product expert at Zoho. Alongside me, I also have Jay Prada, who is a legal expert at Zoho. We also have a few other folks from the Zoho Sign team on the panel. I hope that by now my screen is visible and my audio is loud and clear. If you experience any network disturbances or technical issues at any point during the webinar, feel free to reconnect. This session is being recorded and you will receive a copy of the recording and the slide deck by email in a few days time. At any point in the session, if you feel like you have questions, feel free to use the Q&A option on your screen to raise them. Our panelists are there to answer them and provide you with assistance if necessary. Before we dive into the webinar, let's take a quick look at the agenda. I will start with a quick intro on ZooSign, following which Jayaprada will take you through why eSign is important for India, about the Information Technology Act of 2000 and how ZooSign complies with it. Once that's done, I will take you through how you can integrate Aadhaar eSign and eMudra eKYC services with ZooSign and get your document signed. Towards the end, we will have a Q&A session to answer any unanswered questions. All right. So before we begin, for those who are joining now, I am Rajiv, product expert at Zoho. Digital transformation is happening everywhere, and it's high time that your business digitizes the document signing process. The traditional method is always time consuming and cumbersome and has its own set of disadvantages, such as misplacement of important documents, waiting for the courier document, missing the deadline of the document signing, renew a contract because you fail to keep track of it. A digital signature solution like ZooSign will not only help with solving these problems, but will also help you to streamline your workflow. So what is ZooSign? ZooSign is an e-signature application that helps you send, sign, and manage business paperwork using a simple yet secure cloud-based digital signing process. ZooSign also offers some advanced features that could be used by your business. Frequently used agreements, sales invoice can be saved as templates, collecting signatures on documents through self-service forms, collecting signatures in bulk via bulk send and much more. The cherry on the top is ZooSign readily integrates with your in-house apps using the REST API, webhooks, and mobile SDKs. If you are someone new to ZooSign, you can click the link below to sign up for a free 14-day enterprise trial, which will give you sufficient time to explore the app completely. ZooSign offers multi-factor authentication, tamper-proof audit trails, blockchain timestamping, and certificate of completion. Along with this, ZooSign also offers signer's identity verification, trusted document timestamping, collecting signatures via SMS securely. These tamper-proof features will help you in making sure that the intended person has only signed the document. Accessing your documents across platforms is important in today's hybrid work environment. To help you with that, ZooSign has native mobile and desktop applications available across popular platforms such as the Android, iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, and Windows. Integration plays a crucial part when it comes to business. ZooSign not only integrates with Zoho apps, but also with other popular apps such as Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, Outlook, HubSpot, PipeDrive, and other 50 plus popular applications. We also offer integration with no-core workflow tools such as Zoho Flow, Zapier, and Microsoft Power Automate. With all this, you can automate digital signature collection and workflow. There are many ways to legally sign a document for it to be legally valid across the globe. ZooSign helps you comply with your regional and international laws such as the eSign Act in the United States, eIDAS in the European Union, PIPEDA in Canada, Electronic Transaction Act in Australia and the Southeast Asian countries, and the Information Technology Act of 2000 in India. Allow me to introduce Jayaprada, 
who will take you through the legality of e-signatures in India and how ZoSign is compliant with the Information Technology Act of 2000. Over to you, Jay Prada. Uh, thank you, Rajiv. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jay Prada, and I'm part of Zoho's legal team. Today, I'll be taking you through the requirements of a valid electronic signature under the laws of India and how Zoho Sign complies with it through the Ada eSign feature. The legal recognition and requirements of a valid electronic signature are predominantly covered under the Information Technology Act or the IT Act of 2000. In addition, the Electronic Signature or Electronic Authentication Technique and Procedure Rules 2015 deals with Ada eSign service. Section 5 of the IT Act of 2000 deals with the legal recognition of electronic signature. Whenever a person is required to sign a document under the law, such a condition is deemed to be satisfied when the document is signed electronically. Moving on, Section 3A of the Information Technology Act. The first requirement under Section 3A is that the electronic signature has to be uniquely linked to the signatory. Now, how does Zoho Sign achieve this? Whenever a user chooses to sign a document using Ada eSign service, they'll be redirected to the authorized certification authority, that is eMudra in our case, to the website of the authorized certification authority eMudra, wherein they'll be issued with an electronic signature certificate linked to their Ada number. This electronic signature certificate is issued after the UIDA authenticates that a particular ADA number belongs to that particular individual through OTP verification. As the ADA number is uniquely linked to each individual, it implies that the electronic signature is uniquely linked to the individual signing the document, thus satisfying the first requirement of a valid electronic signature recognized under the Act. Now, the second requirement is that at the time of signing, the signing key has to be under the sole control of the signatory. Under Zoho Sign's ADA eSign feature, the user has the option to enable OTP either via SMS or email. If this feature is enabled, the signatory can complete the signing process only if they enter the OTP before affixing the signature. As already stated in the previous slide, the OTP will be sent to the mobile number linked to your Aadhaar. This ensures that the signature is secure and is under the control of the signatory at the time of signing, thus satisfying the second requirement of a valid electronic signature under the IT Act of 2000. Now, moving on, the third and fourth requirement under Section 3A is that any alteration made to the affixed signature or the document to which the signature is affixed is detectable. As shown in this image, when you open the signed document in your Acrobat Reader, you can see that there is an option on the top right corner called Signature Panel. Now, if you select it, you will be taken to the image shown in the screen. There, the error message in the image indicates that the signature is tampered with. Similarly, if you can, you will get the error message shown in the image on the screen if your document is tampered with. Thus, this satisfies the third and fourth requirement of a valid electronic signature under the IT Act of 2000. In addition to the conditions specified under the law, here at Zoho Sign, we provide a certificate of completion along with the signed document. This certificate of completion will contain details like the document ID, document name, who sent the document and to whom it was sent, when was the document signed by the signers and from where did they sign and at what time they signed, etc. This will prove as a valid audit trail when asked in the court. Finally, the certificate that Zoho Sign uses for generating the final signed document is also issued by an authorized certification authority. In conclusion, Zoho Sign satisfies the requirements under the Information Technology Act and fully complies with it. That said, let us look at some of the use cases. Businesses can use Ada eSign to sign documents in almost all the cases. Some examples are HR policies, business agreements like sales agreements, vendor agreements, Form 16, 
place uh, pay slips so on and so forth even though businesses can sign most of the documents electronically using zoho's other e sign feature there are certain documents prescribed by law which have to be signed physically only they are negotiable instruments other than check power of attorney trust deed wills property transactions such as sale deed mortgage deed etc i hope this was useful to you now over to our product expert rajiv hey thanks jay prada for educating us on more about the legal aspects of zoho sign i hope my screen is visible now all right so now let's see how to enable aadhar e sign and how you can digitally sign a document with this integration i will be going ahead with screenshots only as as you know as the name suggests these integrations involve entering your aadhar number the prerequisites for these integrations are pretty simple and straightforward you can try this extension with a 14 day enterprise trial version 2 however if you are subscribed to zoho one you wouldn't need separate licenses as you are already have the access for the highest level it is simply a matter of setting integration from here on one key point to be noted here is both integrations work only when your account is present in the indian data center which means when you access zoho sign the domain would be zoho.in and not zoho.com if you aren't you could always drop a mail to support at zohosign.com and our team will help you with it another important point is ensure that you have sufficient zoho sign credits while trying out these integrations you can click the pricing link to know more about the credit consumption now that i'm sharing my screen you won't be able to try it out right away but like i said earlier once we share this deck with you you could always visit these sites all right so now let's see how to enable aadhar resign so this is what your zoho sign dashboard will look like click settings that can be seen at the left navigation pane and click integrations this brings you to the integrations page just turn the slider to on and that's it you have enabled the integration now let's see how to sign a document with aadhar resign so this is what your signing screen will typically look like just fill in all the necessary fields and once done from the sign via drop down choose aadhar e sign this in turn will bring a pop up just like you can see on my screen right now since this is a third party integration click sign documents to get redirected to the e sign authentication page here all you have to do is enter your aadhar card number or the corresponding virtual id number a virtual id number is nothing but a temporary revocable 16 digit random number mapped with the aadhar card once you have entered your aadhar number select the check box and click get otp you will get the otp to your register phone number enter the otp and click perform e sign and once done you will be redirected to signs home page so now we have seen how you can sign documents using aadhar e sign Before we proceed let's see some key differences between aadhar e sign and e mudra e kyc the one similarity between the integrations is that they are available only if your account is in the indian data center the e mudra e kyc will be helpful if you have huge volumes of documents to be signed and you are part of an organization for instance if you are from sales you can use this integration to sign documents like sales order aadhar e sign will be helpful if you if you are someone who occasionally signs documents or if you are a guest signer for instance a contract renewal which when occurred once won't happen again in the near time soon the final difference is how to use it to use e mudra e kyc you have to finish the e kyc process set by e mudra and also you need to have a zoho sign account however for other e sign no additional registration is required and also your aadhar number and associated phone number is enough to sign the document but please note that the e mudra issues you a long term certificate for your identity aadhar verifies your identity and provides a certificate that is valid only for a particular document signing now let's see how to integrate and sign documents with e mudra e kyc services similar to how you had enabled aadhar e sign from your zoho sign dashboard 
click settings from the left navigation pane and click integrations. Turn the slider to on and click manage users. This will take you to the page where you can associate the users in your organization who could use this integration. Click associate user. Once done, the list of all the users who are part of the organization gets listed. Select the users and click associate. As I mentioned earlier, please make sure that you have sufficient zero sign credits. Click continue to finish associating those selected users. Once done, you could see the list of all the users who have been associated with this particular integration. Now, let's see how to configure an eMudra account. From the same integrations page, click Manage Users. Click on the Sign and eKYC Procedure hyperlink that you can see on the window right now. I have also highlighted the text for your reference. You will be redirected to the eMudra's website where you can create your own account. Once you do that, you will receive a similar email to a register email address which will contain the credentials. You will also receive a similar email to confirm your email address as well. You will also receive a third email similar to the one that you can see on my screen right now once your eKYC account has been successfully activated. Now, all you have to do is come back to the configuration page and enter your eMudra credentials that you have received in your email. Once done, your eMudra account will be configured successfully. Now, let's see how you can sign a document with eMudra. Agree to the terms and conditions. Fill in all the necessary fields once done. All you have to do is from the sign via drop down, just choose eMudra. Click sign documents in the pop up. And since even this is a third party integration, you will be redirected to the eSign authentication page. Enter your eMudra credentials and enter the OTP that you might have received in your registered phone number. Or if you have chosen TOTP, you have received the OTP in your registered password authenticator application. Once entered, click Perform eSign. Now, let's see how we can verify and differentiate the documents signed with Aadha eSign and eMudra. From your Zoho Sign dashboard, click Documents from the left navigation pane and click Completed. Select the document, click the three dots and click download. Open the downloaded document in a PDF reader and click show signature properties from the signature panel. Till here, the process would be the same for both the integrations. However, as you can see here, when a document is signed via Aadhaar, you can find the last four digits of the signer's Aadhaar card. Another way to find the difference is from the visible signature. But please note that this will be available only if you have placed a signature field in your document. Here are some important URLs to help you in getting started with both Aadhaar eSign as well as eMudra eKYC integration with Zoho Sign. If you're stuck at any point while setting up your Zoho Sign account, you can always find related help docs in the first link. We also have individual links for our solutions guide, integrations, and API guide. We also have our very own YouTube channel where we upload all webinar recordings along with how-to videos for all our native applications. If you have any other queries, ideas, or want to engage in discussions with a community of developers and users, you can always visit our forums and participate. I have also given the links for you to read up on the legality of ZooSign in your country, its pricing, and request a personalized demo for your organization. If you have any feedback or need any form of assistance, you can always reach us by emailing at support at You can also visit our social media pages for the latest announcements regarding our product and engage with us there too. So yeah, look like my colleagues have already been answering all your questions as I was presenting. But before I wrap up, let's see if there are any further questions or any follow-up questions to the already answered ones. Great. I think we can wrap up the session for that. Thank you all for participating. I hope you had a lot to learn and take away from this webinar. Do watch out for future webinars and join us to learn more. Until then, this is Rajiv taking leave on behalf of Zoho Sign. Take care and have a great day.